Hey everyone, Beth Tuttle here. In last week's video, I talked about tips and ideas for caregivers. Like I told you before in that video, I had several people actually ask for tips and videos to help their loved ones that are dealing with dementia, Alzheimer's, maybe um, stroke victims. And I thought it was first very valuable for you to understand to work on yourself first and to make sure you are grounded and your energy is flowing freely so that you have the energy and the mental capacity to help a loved one, to be a caregiver. So today I wanted to give you guys some tips that you could use with your loved ones or whoever you are a caregiver for. So in that video, I also referenced my daily energy routine. So it would be amazing if somebody was at a stage in the dementia or Alzheimer's or after they had a stroke to do some of those daily, that some of that daily routine. Maybe not all of it. Maybe they can't physically do it all or they can do some of it sitting. But I'm going to start saying that. They could do that routine with you. It would be amazing. So if they aren't capable of that, these are some things that I'm going to show you that you can actually do on the person by holding certain points, or if they're capable of doing it, that would be better yet. So first we want to talk about with dementia, Alzheimer's, or stroke victims, many of them have memory issues. It all has to do with the brain. Forgetfulness, memory, it might create a lot of anxiety because of all the changes and the unknowns for them. They could have mood swings. Um, all of these things come when we deal with those types of diseases that actually impact our brain. So how can we help? Again, I am not a doctor. I'm just giving you some tips that I know that have worked for others and that I have seen work to help with our memory, our concentration, um, reduce anxiety, help with mood swings, help calm the body down. So first one I'm going to show you is called they call it the crown pole but basically you've seen this in other exercises or other videos i've done where you are pretending you have a seam running all the way down your head down your neck and you are just placing your fingers on that seam and you're pretending that you're pulling apart that seam now i have this bun on so it's on my head so it's hard to pull there but you're going to do this all the way down your head all the way down to your neck and you're just pulling it's not hard it's not a big space just you're making energy so when we do that as simple as it looks we are we are creating energy up in our head we have like um it's not enough space in our head and especially when you're having struggle with memory or um concentrating on things by doing that, it actually opens up space. It opens up that energy in the head for it to move freely. It gets that blood flowing. And when you get to the back, you're going all the way down. When you get down here where your skull connects with your spine, you have those on either side of your spine, you have like two, I call them lumps, but these two, these two spaces right here on either side, you could really massage those using your thumbs, using your fingers, you could massage for this person or they could do it, hold those points. Those are connected with the triple warmer, that stress response meridian. So again, if it's something they can't do or don't wanna do, you could do that for them. Another thing you could do for them or they could do is holding their neurovascular points. That is gonna bring extra blood flow to the brain. Remember when we're anxious, stressed, maybe someone dealing with mood swings. By holding the neurovasculars, you're just bringing blood back to the brain and it's um, bringing your brain back on board so you can think more clearly, calm down, it can reduce that stress response. And how you do that is you're just putting one hand on your forehead and one behind your head. You're just holding these points. You could do this for the individual. You could both do it together and you're just holding those points for them. And it could be a few minutes. Just kind of gauge, it, are they willing to hold them that long? Can you hold it for them? What are they open to doing? Like just go by that, just kind of feel where their energy's at. And after you hold the points like this, you can also place your hands on either side where you're covering the forehead and by, by their temples. And you're again, you're just 
holding those points, getting that blood flowing back up there, it will calm the entire body down. I did this when I worked in schools with um, younger kids or elementary school kids, and just having them hold their neurovasculars like that would totally get them calm down, be able to concentrate, sit still, pay attention in school. But it's great for um, people that are, are dealing with brain issues from the dementia or Alzheimer's. Um, another, another exercise you could do is just anything that would involve crossing over the body. Remember, our right side of our brain works the left side, left side works the right. We have crossover patterns in our body, our organs have crossover energy, our DNA crosses over. Crossing over just builds up your the strength in your, your body's energy. It gets that right and left brain working together better. Um, and it's so simple. Any, any exercise that you can think of that they would cross over, you could just literally have them crossing over their body, making a cross. You could have them, if they could stand up and walk and had the balance, just crossing their arms across their body, kind of marching and crossing their, their arms back and forth. You could do, I've talked about this before, like a, a figure eight or an infinity sign, infinity sign. You're just, you could use your arms crossing over your body like this. Both of them, you could do one of them. Whatever, again, everyone listening to this, the people are going to be at different levels with their disease. Some of them may have uh, balance or mobile issues. So even if you, over them, you crossed over in front of them, in front of their body did crossovers, you are in their energy field, helping energy cross over. So doing things like that, like I said, that are crossing over the body are just great for getting those two sides of the brain working together. So those are a few tips. I hope you guys found them helpful and give them a try. I know, again, whenever I do these videos, I say these things seem too simple, but you have to remember that we are all just energy. We all have an energy field and you doing those simple exercises gets that energy moving, especially for your loved ones who are suffering with um, trauma where it's, it's in their brain and the dementia and Alzheimer's, you have to remember, they are losing who they were. They, they are struggling with that. You're struggling with that. So the, the one thing you can do for them is to help hold on to or to keep it from maybe um, getting worse is to start helping them work and connect with their, their energy system. So again, I hope you guys give these a try and found them helpful. If you did, I would love for you to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.